What the world is looking for is treatments that can help patients recover from COVID, recover more quickly and more completely. Um, but when we talk about concepts like recovery, we have to define when it's begun and when it's finished and where somebody is in their pathway to recovery. And one of the ways to do that is to describe and quantify patients' symptoms over time. So the aim of this project is to work with patients to design um, a questionnaire which can accurately and systematically capture patients' symptoms through the duration of their illness. Now there is also a focus on making sure that um, we measure kind of the patient experience so that if they have a treatment, yes it might improve this marker but does it actually make them feel better? And the reason this is important is because when we interact with patients in normal clinical practice, we all bring our own subjectivity to the assessment of a patient's symptoms. And so um, doctors' interpretation of how well patients are recovering is often quite inconsistent between different doctors. So the team from this, for this project comprises uh, a group of different researchers, so there's myself, and some trainee doctors who are uh, learning to be academic clinicians who will be working with me actually with the patients conducting the interviews and carrying out the pilot study. Unfortunately research does cost money and um, at my stage I'm really grateful for kind of any amount of support no matter how small it might be that can help me learn and develop as a researcher. I'm hugely grateful to the donors as I'm sure all the recipients of these awards are. Um, you know it's kind of humbling that in this time where, where there are huge financial pressures and lots of different opportunities um, to donate philanthropically to different organisations that they should focus and put their faith in uh, the work that the University of Liverpool is doing. It's given me an opportunity to learn and progress and hopefully this will result in something that will be useful to patients as well. There's been a huge collective effort to tackle this from many, many different angles um, across all the different faculties. Um, and it's really showing the, the depth and strength of our research, uh, particularly in, in the area of infection. Um, so it, it, it's, 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 it's great to be part of the University of Liverpool at the moment. It's a, it's a proud moment.